Only a little girl. Welcome in Duderstadt. Sind denn schon die ersten Promis da? I hereby open the 1993 Paralympic Revival Sports Festival here in Gernigan. Greetings from the 1993 Paralympics Revival in Gerding. Yesterday, many of the athletes were present at the 1992 Paralympics in Barcelona gathered once again, this time not only to compete, but also to discuss what has occurred in the months since Barcelona and the future potential of adaptive sports competition. The motto of this revival is the disabled helping the disabled. The concept of holding such an international sports festival is just one year old. The handicapped top team, together with a large orthopaedic company, hope to organise Paralympics revivals every two years to create an attractive competition in between the Paralympics and the World Championships. In addition to offering an opportunity for competition, the objective is to intensify contact between the organisers, the business community and the athletes. Another major goal is to raise public awareness of adaptive sports via the media. It is important that the public no longer considers these competitions to be simply a way to integrate the disabled athletes into sports events. By reporting competitive sports for the disabled in the same manner as other public sporting events, we can more effectively enhance their popularity. We have already seen evidence of change in sports for the disabled. One clear sign of this has been the participation of noted dignitaries such as Mrs. Rita Sussmann, president of the Deutsche Bundestag. Mrs. Sussmann, you have assumed a partnership role in this event. Why? I believe that we can most effectively integrate the disabled into the community by showing that they are pushing themselves to achieve peak performances in their field, and as such, are not hiding their disability from the public. We as the public are handicapped when we focus on their physical impairments and not on their performance. Therefore I think sports provide an excellent opportunity to display this integration. Denke ich ist das ein, eine gute Möglichkeit ihre Integration über die sportliche Betätigung ein Stück mit voranzutreiben. Paralympics Revival 1993 an event that has had an impact on disabled people who are perhaps not quite so advanced as these elite athletes. All of the proceeds from this international event were donated to Action Sorgenkind, a German charity organisation which assists the disabled.
This week in Gerdigan, private parties sponsored the Paralympics revival. Frau Comenze has our report. They are competitive athletes seeking a challenge, not hiding from their disabilities. Austrian Andrea Siegel, who cleared 1.71 metres in the high jump, came to Gerdigan to seek competition. He has no competitors in his own country. For athletes like Siegel or world sprinter Lucas Christen, the Paralympics revival provides a welcome opportunity. These athletes have spurred industry to develop new and innovative products in the field of prosthetics and orthotics. Non-athletes also profit from these developments, so it comes as no surprise that the sponsor for this 100,000 Deutschmark Invitational is an orthopedic company. This was the first time ever that organisers were able to successfully finance an adaptive sporting event of this magnitude, almost exclusively through sponsorships and the participants themselves were prepared to make compromises to further the commercialisation of their events. This included agreeing to a structure of the competition. For example, Horst Bayer from the Frisian Sigmundsvolde is a world record holder and winner of one of the Paralympics events. However, in Gernigan, this office worker knew he had no chance to win since the competition was open to all classes of disability. This, of course, leads to inequities but it seems to be the only way to increase public awareness of sports for the disabled. Das führt natürlich zu Ungerechtigkeiten, aber nur so scheint es möglich, eine breitere Öffentlichkeit für den Behindertensport zu interessieren. 35, 64. Okay. In Barcelona, they grouped athletes with varying classes of disability together. This is the right way to do it because we need to offer our audience something that they can understand. It makes no sense to have 13 separate world-class champions in the discus event. Merging the disability classes together decreases the confusing elements in the sport for both the competitors and the spectators. But this also means that you would probably have to do without a gold medal. Sure, in principle though, it's the performance that counts, and either I continue to try to beat others, or else I simply give in realising that I have little chance of a medal. That's just the way it is. In sports for the disabled, it's knowing that you have performed better than ever before is what counts. This is an attitude that goes way beyond the goals of the German Disabled Sports Association, which mainly concentrates on popular sports. The handicapped top team was established for athletes who want more. The goal is to find more sponsors for better training conditions and more competitions. The Paralympics revival was a beginning. Sekunden. Der Einbau geht vorne immer auf der Männer. 
Mit der Sparkerrunde Allerwelt. Bahn 1, 24, 20. 25. 25, 1. First. Oh, 
Jetzt sind wir ganz früh, schon nicht zur Wache. Start Nummer 61, Start Nummer 62. Und Jürgen. Congratulations. Really great. Das war Spitze. Das ist euer Wahlfall. Congratulations. Thank you.